So now what we're gonna do is initialize Angular. That is, make sure that AngularJS is working correctly, right? Um, and notice we get this warning, tried to load Angular more than once. Get that warning because we have it loaded more than once so we can comment one of these out. Doesn't actually matter which one. I'm gonna go ahead and just add in the HTML comment tag for our local one. Save that and we refresh in here. No worries, that error goes away. Okay, so let's go ahead and initialize it. It's really simple. We just go to our HTML tag, that top HTML tag, not the doc type, but the HTML tag itself. And we do ng-app. So ng as in angular without the a and g. So just ng-app, you'll see ng a lot. So this actually initializes our HTML page to be treated as angular. So what that means is we can come in here and add in some of the really cool things about Angular and that's this two-way binding. So if I go input type equals to text and I say ng model equals to name and we go ahead and close that off and then in, instead of world here, I'm gonna change this to being curly brackets name. Notice the curly brackets, two curly brackets, name, curly brackets. And then down in the input type, I said ng-model equals to name. I'll explain this in a second, but that is very simple two-way data binding. So if I refresh in here, this is now what it will look like, right? So we're missing some, we're missing that hello world and notice the curly brackets go away. Now, if I don't have this ng app here and save it, refresh, I now get those curly brackets back. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Django, yes, this looks a lot like Django template tags. It actually feels a lot like it and it actually works a lot like it. So um, that's exciting news for some of you. It might be a little confusing, but um, overall it's actually very similar, which is really cool. And that's what makes eases the transition into using Angular that much better um, for those of you who use Django. If you don't, well, it's still really cool. Just remember these curly brackets go around something, right? So this is a variable name. I just randomly said this. I could call it ABC. I can call it whatever, right? And it'll still work. If I type this out, look at that. It actually types out that name. So, or whatever that variable is. So let's say my name is Justin. I'm going to go ahead and put Justin there, but I'm going to repeat this like, you know, however many times. I'm just going to paste it down here, save it, and just say, hello, Justin. Um, not really showing up here. So let's maybe make some space here, save and refresh a little, and there we go. So notice it re replaces everything and it does it as I'm typing. Uh, really cool. The main part here is we have to make sure that the server restarts. Notice that I did save it and then came back and it didn't actually work. We might have to restart the server sometimes and we also might have to clear out our cache. But the main part here, this is it. This is really just amazing. So I'm just kind of messing around here, of course, but it's really cool how this two-way binding stuff works. We're gonna play around with it a little bit more so you can see it in action just that much more um, in the next one.